This is a review for the C Geo app. It is an unofficial app for geocaching, which you can look up. It's pretty much an outdoor treasure hunt with your phone to find caches. Firstly, you'll need to create a free account on geocaching.com to use this app. Then you'll be introduced with a login screen, which only needs the username and password because the rest of the stuff is really optional and you don't need it to find any caches or use this app effectively. After that, you'll be taken to a different menu with a number of options, which I'll go through quickly. There is a live map, which uses Google Maps to point out to you where the caches are in a very graphical way. Tapping on a cache will allow you to see the details of it. On this page, you can see the name, the type, the person who created it, favorites, etc. There is also another tab called Description, which has a lengthened description about the cache itself, written by the author, and has hints to about finding the cache, and a logbook tab, which shows who found it, who didn't find it, and comments from people who looked for it. You can store any cache in an offline storage list, which I'll get to in a minute. Back on the main menu, there is a nearby button. This is a list version of the live map and shows the same information as the live map does. It's just that it has the direction of the cache from your location already and it has the favorites straight away on the front page. After this you can go to the stored menu. It runs just like nearby but it only has the ones that you've selected to store which can work offline. So you don't need an internet connection to use this app. The positive of this app is that it doesn't overcomplicate a possibly complicated system. It doesn't have very many menus, it only has six, and runs quite smoothly. There are many options for users to search for caches and states the location that you're currently in. So in case you're going out somewhere that you haven't really been before, you know where you are. On the negative side though, the login screen is very long with many options, which might frighten and confuse some users. It also doesn't work unless you're logged in. Overall, it is a good app, even though it's not official. Considering it is free and the official one is $10, I recommend that people use this app if they like geocaching.